And will we see you in Paris? Good question. You know, everybody keeps asking this question. I know. It, um, you, um, that's the end goal, and I'll be there regardless of if I'm on the floor or if I'm in the stands. Admit it, we're all hoping to see her on the floor in Paris, too. Who knows if she'll get to have another move named after her, right? And you all know that's not a too impossible feat for her. And with the Paris Olympics fast approaching, Simone Biles is one of the favorites expected to light up the venue, delighting spectators and a TV audience of billions. That's not surprising at all, given that she is the most decorated female gymnast ever, with 30 world and Olympic medals. She has won 25 world medals, including 19 golds, which is notably the most in gymnastics history. Besides amassing a remarkable collection of awards, she also made history various times throughout her career. And she's still out there as a strong competitor in the sport, even though she took a short break. It is no secret that Biles surprised fans around the world when she withdrew from five event finals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Although she ultimately returned to earn bronze on the balance beam, her 32nd medal between the Olympics and World Championships, she disappeared from competitive gymnastics after that. According to sports journalist and author Joan Ryan, we've never seen an athlete like Simone Biles. For her to step away because of gymnastics, because of what she went through, because of the culture in her sport, it highlights what this sport is all about. The sports journalist expressed her awe when she talked about Biles, saying, Here's this incredible woman who just seemed like she could do anything, a superhero. And yet, that sport was corrosive enough and abusive enough that she really had to step away for her own mental health. For context, Simone opted out of the team final in Tokyo while suffering from the twisties, a mental block that causes gymnasts to lose track of their position while midair. USA Gymnastics later announced that she had withdrawn from the individual all-around final, citing a need to prioritize her mental health. In an interview shortly after she withdrew from the competition, Simone talked about why she made the decision not to compete, and how she hoped it would open doors for bigger conversations. We're not just athletes or entertainment, we're human too. She said before adding, put your mental health first, that's more important than any medal you could win. A year later, she's confident that she made the right decision. Walking away from the Olympic Games was a win in itself. I know a lot of people thought I failed because they expected me to go out with five or six medals, but walking out of it was my biggest win, she shared later on. After winning bronze on the balance beam, in agreement with Team USA's sports on-staff psychologist, Biles opted out from four of the five finals. I had to put myself into consideration for one of the first times throughout my career. Most of the time, I've always put myself on the back burner because I've always cared and thought about everybody else before myself," she said. Her time away from the sport must have helped her find her footing, so to speak. Last year, Simone Biles seamlessly resumed her dominance after two years of being away from international competition. She announced her comeback in June, then went on to win her eighth individual all-around at the U.S. Championships in August. It was then that Simone won a record-setting eighth all-around title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships, another step on a comeback trail pointing towards next year's Paris Olympics. At the SAP Center in San Jose, California, Simone was a sight to behold after she performed a soaring floor routine that included a rock-solid landing, earning a score of 15.400. Simone is more fit right now than she's ever been. Her coach, Laurent Landy, told journalists after the medal ceremony, saying that Biles' floor exercise was the best of her career. In October, she made a sweeping return to the world stage in Antwerp, claiming a sixth world championship title in the all-around, while adding team, floor exercise, and balance beam golds, too. And so, Simone Biles closed out an incredible comeback meet after a two-year layoff by winning gold on the balance beam and floor exercise at the Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Belgium. Two years after she went missing on the international stage, so to speak, Simone resumed her dominance with five medals in Antwerp, winning gold in the all-around, team, balance beam, and floor exercise competitions in addition to silver on the vault. She basically made an explosive return to the international stage at the World Gymnastics Championships after scooping four golds. With that, she now has a record of 37 medals at the World Championships and Olympic Games. 
However, Biles' comeback meet was not without a hit as Rebecca Andrade of Brazil beat Biles to gold on vault. Still, their mutual admiration was clear. Nevertheless, Simone Biles made more history after becoming the first woman to land the Yurichenko double pike vault at an international competition. Because of this, the move, the hardest vault being done in women's gymnastics right now, will now be called the Biles 2 in the gymnastics rulebook. It was kind of surprising, Biles said as she talked about her success back on the circuit. Just taking the risk of allowing myself to be vulnerable in front of a crowd competing again was a win for me. Just so you know, Simone Biles now has five gymnastics elements named after her across vault, floor exercise, and the balance beam. Now listen to this. Simone Biles' comeback was evidently a successful one given that she was named the 2023 Female Athlete of the Year by the Associated Press in the U.S., voted on by a panel of sports media professionals. Notably, it is the third time Biles has claimed the award after winning it following the Rio 2016 season as well as in 2019. But this is arguably the most significant for the now 26-year-old who was open about her mental health struggles during Tokyo 2020 and left the sport for a hiatus before her glittering return this season. I would also like to point out that with this award, Biles has become the sixth woman to win the AP award for a third time. Simply put, Simone has a firm hold on the honor of being the most decorated gymnast in history, especially after she won gold in the individual all around, gold in the balance beam and floor, and silver in the vault at the 2023 Artistic Gymnastics World Championships in Antwerp, Belgium. At 26, she also became the oldest U.S. woman athlete ever to win those medals. I felt like I was back in my element and it was exciting, she says but I was truly petrified. I had the training to back it up because we worked really hard. I wasn't as confident or as comfortable as I wanted to be. Needless to say, after a two-year hiatus, U.S. gymnastics superstar Simone Biles is expected to vault into Paris as potentially the biggest headline act of the 2024 Games. For now, Simone is especially passionate about the work she's doing with Friends of the Children a nonprofit organization that pairs kids in foster care with long-term mentors. I'll always advocate for foster kids, she shared. I was a foster kid and something very out of the ordinary happened to me. While Biles knows she's an anomaly, she's hopeful that with enough support, more kids in foster care will graduate from high school, attend college, and go on to live full, successful lives. Talk about being a role model. Well, that's Simone Biles for you. And speaking of a role model we can't wait to see in Paris as well, watch this.